All right, I guess I'm recording this to show you how to find, how to submit a, um, an assignment. I'm, here I am on the home page. I am first going to find the assignment. There are different ways you can get to it. Here I have them shown by type. My goal is to submit my reflection one. I could also show by date and I could see the upcoming assignments or I could show by type. I can see the reflections. So I'm in the student view. So I'm not actually a student. I'm just in a, it's like how you see it. And I'm going to click on submit assignment. And then in order to submit assignment, I want to upload a file. And I'm going to browse. And here I have this reflection that I've written. And I'm going to open it. I'm going to submit the assignment. So there it is. It's been submitted. Now I want to pause my recording. Okay, I'm resuming recording just so you can see. This is what my view looks like because I'm going to grade this paper. And now just so you can see what I do when I grade your papers. I click on this speed grader thing and then all the different papers come up. Right now I'm the only student because the course isn't open yet, but it shows me what your paper is and I typically read it and I might take notes about it offline. But here I'm just going to write a few notes to the student, which in this case it's me. I'm going to say something about this assignment. I'm going to say good good use of um, concepts from the class. And that would be normative history. And I would probably tell you what those concepts are graded. Influences. influences. Uh, also, this student I really liked how you connected your experience on Sunday with your life experiences and looked at them through the lens of a life span development perspective. Then maybe I might have something to say next time. Make sure to watch out for punctuating compound sentences, which would be something I want you to look at. So this would be an example of the um, kind of notes I would have. And let's say, I really like this one, so, but maybe there's points deducted because of punctuation, and I'll give it a 1.75. Okay, great. So now that I've done that, um, I've graded this paper. Now at, one, at some point, you're gonna be notified that your paper's been graded. And how do you see my feedback? All right, let's do that. First, in order for me to show you how you see your feedback, I need to switch into the student view. So now it's as if I'm a student and I see that, oh, hey, look, there's been something graded. I click onto grades. And I look to see, this has, has this been graded? No, there's been no score given on these. But look, this has been graded. I got a 1.75 out of two. That's not what I was going for, but it's not the worst. I really wanna understand why I didn't get full credit. So now I'm gonna click on this little thing here. Uh, let me try it again, click it. 
and see what happened. So I just was having trouble clicking on it. But when I click on it, I can see the comments that were given to me. Good use of concepts. I really liked the um, um, it's something that I liked about it. And then I'll close it. Now, let's say, now you need to comment back. I want to know what you think of my comments. So if you're going to respond to my comments, like that you want, I, you know, you see that, mm, got to watch out for punctuation. I go here and I can see here also that the comments are listed on the side. So there are two different ways of seeing it. And I can respond by saying, okay, I will do better at following punctuation rules. Now this is important because it's a it's an important aspect of your participation grade. I want to know that you see what I'm writing to you. And the only way that I will know whether or not you're writing to me is if you respond to me. So this is how you would respond to my feedback. Okay, with that said, um, student view, and that's it, okay? That's how you do it.